Have you ever experienced mouth ulcers? And were they painful? Well, today, introducing my one, Sayonara Sariawan. Our company is called BioVus, and we produce healthcare products that uses biodegradable materials and are safe for the environment and provides to your everyday needs. Our vision as a company, as I mentioned earlier, is to create an environmentally friendly healthcare product that will be safe for the environment and useful for the society. As for our mission, it will be to produce an edible and eco-friendly bandage that is more efficient and less painful for mouth ulcers. My one, our product is an edible and eco-friendly mouth ulcer patch. Here we have the logo of our product and it is simple, memorable, and provides to your needs. Our team consists of Caitlin, Kevin, myself, Hilal, Marcella, Megan, and Nicholas. And now we'll be moving on to the first section, which is the problem and solution analysis. Okay, so why do we create these products? As we all know, a mouth ulcer or canker sore is very annoying. Many people get canker sore from time to time. Researchers said that one out of every 10 people are affected. Uh, people that are suffering from canker sore might experience pain and also might uh, experience tingle, burn, or fear rough on their mouth. The current medication is very awful. It is painful, awful taste, inedible, and most importantly, it is expensive. And uh, our last problem is the pollution. Since no ulcer pads or another product are biodegradable, and shrimp waste can constitute 40 to 70 percent of original shrimp's weight, and it creates a huge amounts of waste are generated. So, what are the solutions? <clears throat> Thus, we create our products My One Mouse Ulcer Page. It provides shooting sensation for efficient and fast healing. It contains biodegradable material and variety of flavors for kids with different page sizes. It's also edible or safe to consume and it's tailored especially for people with braces, kids, and people that often get mouth ulcer. The next one we're gonna talk about the risky assumption test. The first one is about the customers. First, we assume that people with braces will buy our product more often than those who don't. With the WA or the probability of wrong assumptions is 2 and the level of impact is 6, thus the total is 12 points. And the second one, kids will be willing to put the bandage in their mouth because it is tasty. The probability of this assumption is wrong is 1 and the level of impact if it's wrong is 5. Thus the total is 5. People are willing to pay more for products that are environmentally friendly. The wrong assumptions of this probability is 3 with the level of impact is 2. Thus the total of thus the total point is 6. The second one is the problem. The first assumption is that kids don't want to use existing products because it is painful and bitter. The wrong assumption of this is 1, and the level of impact of it's wrong is 8, which is quite higher. Thus, the total is 8 points. The second assumption is people with braces need something to cover their ulcers from abrasions. The probability of this assumption is wrong is 2, with the level of impact is 6. Thus, the total make it 12 points. Moving on to solutions, the first assumption is preferring in the bandage attract kits to our products with the probability of wrong assumptions is 1 and the level of impact is 6, thus make it the 6 points of total. The second one, sustainable bandage that also heal ulcer will increase public interest with the probability of wrong assumptions is 3 and level of impact if it's wrong is 7, thus make it the total is 21 points. And moving on to MVP, the first assumption is that abundant supply of Citizen can be gotten as market and usage is still cheap. The wrong assumptions of these assumptions is 2 and the level of impact is 9. Does the total make it 18 points? The last one is natural flavoring can be easily incorporated to our products. The possibility of this wrong assumptions, this assumption is wrong, is 2 points with the level of impact is 5 points and make it total 10 points. From the riskiest assumption test, it can be seen that there are two that have the highest risk value. 
which are sustainable bandages that also heal the ulcer, will increase public interest with the value of 21 and the abundant supply of ketosan can be obtained with the value of 18. For the sustainable bandage assumption, it cannot really be eliminated since creating eco-friendly bandages are one of our main vision and therefore we will give a huge effort to reach the correct target market and to raise public interest and awareness towards buying eco-friendly products for the sake of the earth. For the abundant supply of ketosan assumption, it can be eliminated by changing ketosan or shrimp waste to other natural substances that are abundant in the nature such as cassava starch. However, more research needs to be done to really reduce waste pollution. And now we're gonna moving on to business model canvas which be explained by my group mates. Let's talk about business model canvas of our product My One. First of all, we want to make a relationship with our customers by active in social media accounts, have voucher codes in digital marketplace, having customer service and company email. Next is the customer segments. Our co customer scope is the general public market in Indonesia, which especially for children in 5 until 12 years old and people who wear teeth brace. Our customer can buy our product, my one in variety places such as digital marketplace, pharmacy, drugstores, mini markets, supermarkets, dentist clinic, and hospital. Therefore, our customer can find our product anywhere and everywhere. We are also making collaboration to sell our product with dentists, pharmacies, drugstores, and digital marketplace. Here's are the last five of our product's business model canvas. The key partners for our products are of course the investors and suppliers. We need several suppliers such as fishermen's, additives companies, and pharmaceutical company. Lawyer and legal team and also the market research included as our key partners. The key activities for my one are research and development of our components, manufacturing the products with the high quality and marketing the products to the customers. Next, the key activities for our products are property for the manufacturing processes, property for office, ideas or intellectual properties, scientists or researchers, and employees. Lastly, the cost structure of my one are of course the rental costs for our company that consists of the office, warehouse, and factory. Commission for distribution channels, paying the wages of employees and researchers, are also included as the cost structures. Besides that, there are other costs that use for R&D, manufacturing, supplies, electricity, water, legal, legal team, legal certificates, customer relation, and advertising. The pricing of our product will be explained by my other teammate. So, moving on to the pricing. We have calculated the fixed cost and the variable cost to produce our product. The fixed cost itself contains the rent and tax of the factory, the manpower needed, the research and development, and also the legal and professional services. Whereas the variable cost, uh, it consists of electricity and water, logistics or transport, and also commission and advertisement. Moving on, we have calculated the materials needed to produce our product. Our original variant, which consists of chitosan, adhesive, hydrogel, and antibiotics. We have calculated that the cost needed to produce our product in the original variant is about 25,000 rupiah and 400. Whereas the flavored variant, which has flavorings added, is about 22,300 of cost per product. Next, we have also targeted that we have to produce 1 million product for each batch and each batch uh, requires 3 months to be produced. One batch also requires 20% in manpower and the minimum wage of each worker is about 4,700,000 rupiah. So after all, the total cost per product of our original variant is about 2,700 rupiah whereas the total cost for the flavored variant is about 2,500 rupiah. We also set our profit to be around 30% for our original variant and 45% for the flavored variant. And thus, it makes the product selling price per patch of the original variant is about 3,500, whereas the selling price per patch of the flavored variant is about 3,600 rupiah. 
and we also uh, plan to produce our product and sell it as boxes which contains 15 patches each which makes the price for the original variant about 53,000 rupiah and the flavored one is about 54,000 rupiah okay so here we have our packaging design uh, which we will have two shown here one is for the flavored version and one is for the normal version um, basically both of them is actually the same uh, for the front part we have the logo um, we have also the product name and we have uh, the features of our product featured uh, on the front uh, we have the flavoring and also how many patches are inside uh, each box so the difference is only in the mascot for the kids version or the flavored version we included a bear uh, to attract uh, the attention of uh, children buying our product um, and for the back part we have the composition of our product um, also um, we have the seal of approval from BPOM and MUI um, we have the how to use the allergens indicator and also the barcode at the end so we have roughly um, the mock-up design here. The length size is uh, around 4.5 centimeters. It is 6 centimeters high and also um, 1 centimeter wide. And here we have the design for our sheets uh, of patches. Uh, one box will contain only one sheet uh, with 15 patches inside, which uh, has three different sizes. The large one has a diameter of 1.2 centimeters, the medium one has a diameter of 1 centimeter, and small has a diameter of 0.75 centimeters. For the flavored version, uh, as we included the three different flavors, strawberry, grape, and also mango, our patches will also be in different colors to indicate uh, the flavoring. Moving on to the competitor analysis. So for the direct competitors, they all have the same strength, which is they promote fast healing, they have protective barriers and they relieve itching. However, they also have the same weaknesses, which are expensive, they do not have a variety of sizes, they live with juice and they are uncomfortable. For the indirect competitors, they are all cheaper than the previous direct competitors. For Haofeng San, they contain natural substances, they are cheap and they are highly popular amongst Chinese people. Uh, however, they do not stay long because they have a powder form and therefore they do not stay long in the mouth and do not promote fast healing and also for betadine they have powerful antiseptic action however they do not directly treat mouth ulcers and they are strictly inedible next for urgo filmo gel they have a unique form which is gel like so they can be applied anywhere so they are flexible however they are not suitable for big ulcers they had to be constantly reapplied and they do not promote healing as advertised so for the competitor matrix where does our product stand we have a product that has a higher quality but in a lower price and therefore we are superior and better than our competitors in terms of pricing and quality and now we've come to the last section of our presentation and that is how will my one be successful but before that we need to know the science behind how my one actually works. So, my one works by sealing the mouth ulcer and preventing it from coming into contact with the surrounding mouth, such as the teeth, the tongue, the gums, and any other food that you eat. As for how the patch will actually stick to the surface of the mouth, we'll be using a special polymer known as hydrogel. Hydrogel has a property that can stick to moist surfaces, and in this case, the surface of the mouth. As for the healing process of my one, we'll be using three active compounds. The first one is called hyaluronic acid. This acid coats the oral mucosa and enhances the tissue hydration, which accelerates the healing process of the patch. The second is the glyceratinic acid, which has an anti-inflammatory properties, which helps in the healing process as well. And last but not least, we have menthol, which acts to provide a cooling sensation that will make you uh, feel less pain and also helps in the healing process. And last but not least, why should you buy my one? Well, throughout our presentation, we've discussed about the different features of my one. And here I'm 
I'm going to conclude about the four major features of my one and that is the reasons of why you should buy it. The first one is that my one uses biodegradable materials, specifically Cheetosan, which is very eco-friendly. Second, my one has an effective and less painful property than any other current medication, which makes it more effective and of course less painful to use. Third, specifically for the kids version, it has different flavors, which makes it most likely that the children will like it more. And finally, this is the very important one I think, is that my one comes at an affordable price, with a price ranging from 53,000 to 55,000 rupiah. So what are you waiting for? Come and buy my one. So that is all from our company BioVus. Introducing my one, Sayonara Sarya One. Thank you for listening to our presentation, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>